Hello and welcome back to another episode of Sunny Stops Procrastinating. I'm Sunny and I actually had a really good reason to procrastinate for this video. My friend Breeze and I both tested positive for Dorona, the Corona, the COVID-19. And let's just say I was seeing and smelling colours. It was not fun, but it could have been worse, so I'm not complaining. Um, and I'm not dead. That's also a plus. I'm going to continue on to the topic. And our topic for this video is Blue, who was the most amazing character ever. Like, I could talk about Blue for years, like centuries, my entire life. If I had to draw one character all my life, it would be Blue. Because I love him so much. And I would die for him. Blick it forever. But blue forever. Please. Don't die. Ever. Please. <laughs> um, I love blue because he is also technically my comfort character. So I'm also technically biased. Potentially. About blue. Um, I love the way blue thinks. How he's always putting himself in other dragons' talents. How he's always thinking what someone else is thinking. And it's, it's just really special to me that I get to read from this perspective because there's not a lot of characters out there. There's not a lot of... I don't read that many books. I read Wings of Fire and Warrior Cats. And it's the first... Oh, I've read The, hung, the Hunger Games too. But the point is, it's the first character that I've come across that thinks the way I do. Doesn't suffer from it the way I used to. Um, I used to always think that everyone hated me and I used to use that that way of thinking to make it worse but now that I've read from someone else's perspective on how you can use that way of thinking and not hurt yourself it's just really helpful and uh, that's probably why I love blue so much but I'm gonna also talk about the other reasons I love blue so much starting with his unique rise to heroism um, it's not unique technically because it's been done before but the idea that a character is being forced to be a hero because the villain wants something they have that they can't control like for example Blue's flame silk he can't control it he's gonna be a flame silk and Queen Wasp wants him locked away to harvest dragons of their flame silk and Blue is forced to run from her because he doesn't want to get captured and now he's like technically captured if you, I'm talking about book 14 but we're not going to talk about that yet I'm not there I'm not there yet um the other thing I really love about Blue is obviously his interesting personality he is like so kind like really really kind and he's but he's also sarcastic um he can be really funny um <laughs> one of my favorite um quotes is like when he's like to cookie he's like why did you save me and she's like um you're and he's like pathetic uh needs help and she's like no 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 i'll get there one second and he's like aha devastatingly handsome <laughs> like that was so funny i love that and i love that he can joke around like and he's still so he's just so kind and he's funny and yeah it's just it's amazing and Cricket is lucky and I love Blicket. I love them together because they make each other so much better too. Cricket makes Blue question the rules and Blue helps her understand dragons better and I love that they can help each other in that way and it just makes them so interesting and one of the cutest couples ever. I just if they were a real couple I'd be the person to show up to their wedding and like the row rose petals around like yay you're married I'm so happy <laughs> I'd be that weird person that's me <laughs> um and as I said before blue is currently possessed and being controlled by queen wasp that is just wow like he's in there and he's seeing what his claws are doing but he's not actually doing it and he's hearing Queen Wasp's voice in his head, he's gonna have some trauma, like, serious trauma. Why did I say trauma? What's trauma? It's trauma. Um, he's gonna have some serious, well, he might, he might just be like, oh, well, that wasn't me, that was Queen Wasp. Get wrecked, loser. 
Um, but he'll, I, I'd say he'll feel guilty about it either way. But I'm really, really invested in the 15th book coming out because I just want to see what happens to Blue. I don't give two hoots about Luna. No, I do. I do. I love Luna too. I love their sibling relationship. And I will be invested on knowing what happens to Luna, but I just want to know what happens to Blue first. Like, my priority on my list for reading that book is find out if Blue is okay and make sure that he is okay, because if he's not okay, I don't know what I'll do. I think I'll just be depressed in my room for, like, forever. I'll be with- I'll be crying with Cricket, wondering where did Tui go wrong? How could she do this to Blue? I mean, Tui's a great author, but I swear, I swear, if she, if she kills Blue or something, I don't know, I don't know what I'll do, I'll just, I'll be crying with Cricket, I will question my life and be very, very sad. Breeze will be like, Sunny, it's, it's just a character, calm down, and I will be having a full out rage quit. Rage quit out of Minecraft and rage quit out of Wings of Fire. <laughs> but um, other than that, I don't know what else I can say other than I just, I really love Blue. And he's a really good character. So, yeah. Um, I hope you enjoyed my little drawings and this episode of Sunny Stops Procrastinating. Tell me whether you like me talking about characters um the next episode is going to be more of like a theory kind of an episode i will be talking about my opinions obviously i always talk about my opinions i'm going to be talking about bristle frost and my opinion on her and then a few theories i have revolving around her uh i will quickly warn you this is a spoiler if you haven't read warrior cats and you don't want spoilers for that recent book i suggest not listening for like I don't know, five seconds, but she dies, so, um, if you weren't quick enough to pause, then too bad, you just got spoiled, she dies, she doesn't die, like, a little bit, she dies completely, and I'm gonna be talking about some theories about that, so, I hope I will, <laughs> unless, unless I'm too sad, because <laughs> I got really upset over that too, that was terrible, and, which is why I'm so paranoid about Blue dying, because if Bristlefrost could die completely, like, she ain't even in Star Clan, then what could Tui do to Blue? I mean, she wouldn't, right? She wouldn't kill him. I'm, I'm totally fine. He's fine. I swear it's, it's okay. <laughs> um, I am going to end this video, though, with that thought. Um, <laughs> with that thought, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed. I don't know how well the quality of this video is. Um, I think I just want, I want some lemonade right now. But, um... Yeah, leave a comment down below what you think on Blue, what your thoughts are. If you leave a hate comment on Blue, I'm probably not going to answer. I'll like, like it just to show that I've seen it, but if it's something that I can't answer, I'll just leave it. I'm sorry, but Blue's my baby. You insult him, you insult me. <laughs> Jokes aside, I, I'm seriously si signing off now. Arios and stay bright and sunny. Don't worry, Blue will make it out alive. You gotta stay positive, guys. <laughs> Bright and sunny. Woo.